Hello Techies. In this session, we will learn how to work with insert image in Word document action. Let me drag and drop this action onto the workspace. The main purpose of insert image in Word document action, users can insert various images in the document. First of all, we'll see the parameters over here. What is the first parameter? The Word instance. What we will give for the Word instance? The instance which we have created at the time of launch Word action. All right. Now, second parameter, there you can see I'm having insert image to. There are six options are available. There you can see we can insert the image at the beginning of the Word file or end of the Word file. In the same way, we can insert the image before bookmark or after the bookmark or before the specific test or after specific test. Now, which image I have to insert from where I have to insert image from. This is my third parameter. There you can see I'm having two options once again. First one is the file or from the clipboard. If you want to insert an image from the file, then I'm going to select file over here. Whenever you're going to select a file, I have to give the image path over here. All right. In this session, we'll work on small scenarios. What are the small scenarios? First one is that I want to insert image at the beginning of the word file. That is my first scenario. How can I go ahead and do that? There I'm going to select insert the image to the option is beginning of the file. And then I'm going to select image from that. I'm going to select file and the image path. I'm going to browse it. There you can see in my local disk D drive, I'm having PAD labs is my folder inside that I'm having images. There I'm having a logo. I'm going to select that. Now what will happen? It will insert the image at the beginning of the word file. Before going to be running this application, let me show you the document. There you can see I'm having hello techies. I'm having two pages over here, right? And I don't have any images in the particular document. Now what it is happening whenever I'm going to select insert image to based on the option which I have selected, it will insert the image in the particular document over here. Right now, what is the small scenario? I want to insert the image at the beginning of the Word document. That is my first use case. So that what it will happen, the image will be inserted at the beginning of the document. All right. Now, if you see the insert image from I have selected from the file and the path I have given over here. All right. Let me click on save. Now let's run the flow to see the output by clicking on run flow execution started by using insert image in word document action. It is trying to insert the image at the beginning of the word document flow has executed successfully. There you can see the logo has inserted at the beginning of the word document. All right. Now as a second scenario, I want to insert the image at the end of the word document. How can I go ahead and do that? There you can see. I'm going to select insert image to the option I'm having at the end of the word file. I'm going to select that and then I'm going to click on save. Now what will happen? The logo, whatever I'm going to select an image that will be inserted at the end of the word document. All right. So where it will add it, you can see over here, I'm having two pages of the document, right? It will be end of the word document here at the second page. It will be inserted at the end of the word document. All right. Let's run the flow to see the output by clicking on run flow execution started. Now by using insert image in word document, it will insert the image at the end of the word document flow has executed successfully. Now let me open the document once again to show the output. There you can see if you scroll down there, you can see this is the end of the page, right? End of the word document. It has been inserted in the third page, right? This is how we are going to insert the image at the beginning of the word document as well as the end of the word document. Now we'll work on the third scenario. What is the third scenario? I want to insert an image before bookmark. Let me go back to the word document and we are going for the insert. And there you can see, let's click on the bookmark to check what are the bookmarks are available inside my document, right? There you can see I'm having two bookmarks requirement one and requirement three. I'm going to add one more bookmark by clicking on cancel. And then I'm going to select the requirement, right? 
this is my requirement i'm going to insert a new bookmark over here by clicking on bookmark and then i'm going to add requirement 2 and then i'm going to click on add and then let me save the document now what i have to do i have to insert an image before the bookmark right how can i go ahead and do that let me go back to the power Automate desktop and then i'm going to click on insert image in word document there you can see i'm having an option called insert image to so to insert an image before the bookmark i'm going to drop down this and there i'm going to select before bookmark right so whenever you are going to select before bookmark it will ask for one more option that is what is the bookmark name we have to provide now we have given the bookmark over there as requirement 2 so now i have to insert an image before the bookmark the bookmark name is requirement 2 and there you can see insert image from that is file and what is the image path that i will change it over here what is the image i will give it i will give it as power.png all right let me click on save now let's run the flow to see the output by clicking on run flow execution started now by using this flow it will insert a image at the beginning of the bookmark that is requirement 2 all right the flow has executed successfully let me show you the output by opening the document there you can see i have selected the requirements right that requirements is my bookmark before that bookmark the power image has been inserted successfully now in the same way i have to insert the image after the bookmark so requirements is my bookmark right so that where i will get it i will get the image over here after the bookmark all right let me show you by double clicking on insert image in word document action and then i'm going to select the parameter that is insert image to that the option should be after bookmark there you can see i'm having after bookmark and the same thing the bookmark is requirement 2 and the insert image from is the file image path is i have selected pad lab slash image slash power dot png all right let me click on save now let's run the flow to see the output by clicking on run flow execution started by using insert image in word document action it will insert the image at the end of the bookmark that is requirement 2 the flow has executed successfully let me show you the output by opening the document there you can see the image has inserted after the bookmark right we have selected the option after bookmark so that the image has inserted after the bookmark that is requirement 2 all right now we'll go for the another scenario that is before and after specific text how to insert an image before or after specific text before that what i'm going to do i'm going to delete all the images from the document in my document power is the word which we are having in many locations there you can see at the background i am having city power right city power and light uses and there you can see erp power right what i have to do for every text which we are having like specific text i have to insert the image before the text how can i go ahead and do that there you can see in my action i am having insert image to i'm going to select the option called before specific text all right now whenever you are going to select before specific text what is the text to find is the option which will be available the text is that i'm going to give it as power right i have to insert the image before specific text the text is power and the image we have selected the image path over here in the same way if you want to insert the image after specific text you are going to select insert image to and then i'm going to select the option after specific text and then i'm going to text to find what are the text that you have to find after the specific text you are going to give the text over here all right i'm going to show before specific text and then i'm going to click on save and then i'm going to run the desktop flow by clicking on run flow execution started as part of this desktop flow now it will try to insert the image before particular text before specific text that is power all right the flow has executed successfully now if you see the output there you can see before every specific text that is what we have given the specific text over here the power 
before a very specific test that is the power image has been inserted there you can see city power before that an image before power there is one more image wherever you will find power before the specific test the image has been inserted successfully at the same time if you are going to work after specific test it will the image will insert after a particular test that is power all right and once again i am going to clear the text once again i am going to remove the images to work on the specific scenario what is the next scenario over here until now we have seen how to insert image to with different options right now insert image from what i have selected that is file but there is one more option is available that is from clipboard if i want to insert a image from the clipboard how can i go ahead and do that there i am going to select insert image to as beginning of the word file and then what is the clipboard over here how can we get the image over there now to show you that i'm going to open microsoft paint and then you can see over here i'm going to select the image i'm going to select specific area over here and then i'm going to click on copy so what will happen it will copy the particular image to the clipboard all right now if you see i have selected only particular portion of the image over here that portion will be inserted as the image in the word document at the beginning of the word document all right now you can see i have selected the insert image from that is clipboard let me click on save now let's run the flow to see the output flow execution started insert image into word document action trying to insert image from the clipboard at the beginning of the word document the flow has executed successfully now let me show you the output there you can see whatever the image we have captured inside my clipboard that image has been inserted at the beginning of the word document right in the same way we can work with the file as well as the clipboard i hope you understand how to insert the image at the beginning of the document as well as end of the word document and also we have seen how to insert the image before bookmark after bookmark and also we have seen how to insert the image before specific text or after specific text by using insert image from as file as well as clipboard as part of this tutorial